Hey, Claude Palan here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is going to be um, a continuation of my widgets video series. And this one is going to be about a, um, a widget called Smart YouTube. What it allows you to do is put video into your sidebar if you so desire. And uh, why would you want to do that? Well, you might find a reason for it. Here's my, my blog. And if you see here on my sidebar about, about affiliate, affiliate Starting Line, I have a I have a video here. So it kind of takes care of, if anybody wants to find out what the, the site's about, you've got your main content here, and then in the sidebar you have a, a, uh, a video. And don't forget, on the right-hand side here, there's an expansion. So you know when you play these, that's really kind of small. You don't want to, you can't see much, but you click the expansion full screen, and it takes it full screen. So how do you set that up? Well, down here is a widget called Smart YouTube. And you can just drag it over to your sidebar. Now it's going to uh, present you with a title that you can put in here. Uh, Matt Cuts and Search. That's my title. Uh, and then down here it gives you a box where you can put in your code. Now, where do you get the code? You get the code by going to YouTube and you find a video that you want to uh, share. You click the share button and you can lift this code right here. Copy it, bring it over to your widgets and, and I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Copy it in. Now for Smart YouTube, if you look at the instruction I'll show you, you have to add a designator after the HTTP. You can be a V or a VH. I add VH because I shoot in high def. So you, had, you add that designation, you click Save, and then uh, you go take a look at your website. And there it's Matt Cuts and Search, and there's the video. Now if I click play, it'll start playing. Hey everybody, we got a really interesting Now you can't see anything there, so you want to come here and click full screen. It takes Robert it it takes it full music. screen. Robert B. H. wants to know. Uh, Hi, so that's how you that's how you use really this this widget. Now there's a thing about this. To use this widget and to make sure that it plays properly, you come down to your settings here. Now when you un load in the plugin Smart YouTube, which is how this widget gets uh, embedded into your widgets page, you come to the settings for Smart YouTube. Now I have a video done by Smart U on Smart YouTube, but this one is an updated version that allows you to put a video in a sidebar. What you want to do is you come down here and pick your selections, your video settings. So I display videos and posts. I don't display them in comments. I can use iframe embed code. Uh, Google YouTube gives you the ability to either pick up this URL or pick up a iframe code if you want to use that in your, in your post or blog. So that's what that does. Uh, video appearance, I wouldn't worry about it. Here you select which formats you want to be used when you embed a video. So depending on the theme you have, you can decide which size box works for you. That's a matter of experimentation. These are sizes that work for me based on the theme that I've been using. I can change these. Now, for your sidebar, you select which what size box you want that video to appear in. So you can change these to whatever values you want, 300 by 225, whatever. I picked 150 by 125 because it fits into the sidebar of the theme I'm using. I choose not to use uh, in, uh, related videos. And then the rest of these, you can decide whether you want to autoplay. I never want to autoplay. I don't want to display the search box. I don't want the, the color box. I don't want ratings remove titles and ratings. I like to do that. Remove annotations, yes. Hide the YouTube logo, yes. Uh, and so on. Now down here there's a couple of things here. Wizzy app support. This helps you publish your, your blog as an iPhone app. If you turn this on, if you enable Wizzy app, it will disable the sidebar search capability, uh, the play capability. So I'll show you. If I click Wizzy, it app support and refresh it. I come to my screen here. If I refresh, gone. It's showing me the code. It's not, it's not setting up properly. So you need to come down here and make sure that you have 
that you have not selected. Wizzy app, you deselect it, make sure that it's not selected and click updates. And then your video will appear. So that's the basic lesson takeaway from what I've just told you. It took me quite a while uh, to figure this one out because I had to go through all these options. Enabling HTML, it's okay. Enabling all the others, it's okay. But if you enable Wizzy app, you're gonna turn off the sidebar capability. So, and that's, that's the whole point behind using that widget. Let me get back to the widgets page. So that's how you use the smart YouTube widget. And uh, I'm gonna continue the, um, one with one more video that shows some of the other basic widgets that are available. But in the case of using video, the smart YouTube pro uh, plugin is great. And the widget in the sidebar uh, widget is great also, as long as you have it set up properly the way I showed you. So that's it. I hope this, help, this video has been helpful. This is Claude Polan at Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.